Is AI the future of web design and just image creation? I want to say yes and no. I still think you need a lot of human interaction and that human experience to come in and how you design and lay things out. But if you're looking for ideas and inspiration, then tools like Midjourney can't be ignored, basically. Don't worry about what, the, what you're seeing on the screen right now, okay? Let that go. What you need is a Midjourney account, which you'll actually access via your Discord account. Now, I've already done videos looking at this and into how you could use it to build websites, but I'm gonna focus specifically on a hero banner and just see what can we get out of it just so that you fully understand how to use the prompt. So what you wanna do is go to midjourney.com and then go and click sign in. You'll probably get asked to just confirm that you are who you are. And please remember, you do need to have a Discord account first. So if you've never used Discord, just go to discord.com, go and set up a free account and away you go. So we are now gonna authorize ourselves. The whole point of why I logged in via midjourney.com is because any images we create will actually be stored in that area. Because what you will find as you use this is that you sometimes have to scroll up and down to find what you requested because there's gonna be loads of other people making their requests as well. Please bear that in mind. They can see what you do and you can see what they do as well. But if you want to then very quickly access everything you've created, you would go to your midjourney.com and now you'll have access to all of the images that you've created. And it's kind of cool if you just want to have everything in one place. Right, let's go back to the app. That's quite a simple process to use. All you got to do is type forward slash imagine and then you'll see the word prompt. Click that and then you start typing here. And you have to be a little bit thoughtful over what you're doing. Now you can drop in an image to help drive your inspiration. So maybe there's an example website or you've seen a poster or a social media advert, anything like that. Could even be a photo of yourself, your pet, anything, even a building and a car and then use that to drive what mid journey is gonna do. But we're gonna start off with just putting in some text and then we will drive it with an image. So I'm gonna say website um, hero banner like that. And I'm gonna say comma, small business consultation, hyper-realistic UI, UX, 4K, Unreal Engine 5. You don't have to do this, but if you want some really realistic looking website, this is actually a really, really cool way to do it. And then this is where we'd be a little bit specific now. Now I'm gonna use version four, which is the latest version. I do recommend using that. But before we do that, I'm gonna set some parameters up. So I'm gonna put in hyphen hyphen AR free two. This is now kind of doing a slightly landscape um, style. If you go for two colon three, it's more portrait. Now, if you want to start using like a proper width of 1920 or even use parameters like five to two, which is now like a proper landscape or a height of 1080, you can't use version four. You've got to use version uh, three, basically, if you want to do that. But I've I'm going to continue using version 4 and we're going to leave it on AR32. So after I've written that, I'm then going to type in AR and I'm going to type V with a space and a 4. I don't know why, but it's quite important to have the V4 there. And then we're then going to end it with a uh, stylize and I'm going to go with a stylize of 1000 there. Okay, I have found that you can use anything from 0 to 1000. 0 would be nothing. A thousand can be a little bit more stylish. Now I'm gonna make one little change to the start of this, okay? Because we've got website hero banner, but I haven't thought about my color. What if I wanna go for a particular color scheme? So I'm gonna go with magenta and we're gonna go with black like that. So magenta and black website hero banner, da 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 da, with those words. Now before I hit enter, I am just gonna copy this in case I wanna reuse it again. I'm just gonna hit return. Now, if there was any error, you would get a message saying the wording was maybe too inappropriate or the, you've put it in the wrong order or anything like that. Just go and start, start it again, okay? Now, with Mid Journey, you can do 25 iterations or prompts for free and then you gotta pay for it. I'm paying uh, $10 a month, so I can have up to about 200 roughly a month, which is more than enough for what I need. Um, but if you wanna upscale or upgrade further, you can that, but for 25, so this is one prompt, I still have 24 I can do. Now it can take about one to three or four minutes, depending on how busy the server is. You can see here it says 62%. Now while this is generating, I do just wanna focus on the fact that when you do get the image, and I'm gonna show you one over here, we've got crazy animated doctor with two legs. Let's just click that. So what we now have is an image over here that's been created with all that person put in there was crazy 
animated doctor with two dogs, which I think looks pretty nice, actually, with what they've done. But then you will notice that there were four images. Uh, let me just go back into that. We have image one, image two, image three, and image four. Think of it in a Z motion like Zorro, right? One, two, three, four. What if you quite like this image over here, um, image three? Because at the moment, even when you uh, maximize it, it's quite small, you know, and maybe you want it to be bigger. What you would do is make sure you're in the Discord app. Over here, the person who created this, if they were to now go and click U3, it would upscale image three. So where it was kind of like about that big, it would now become much bigger. What you could also do is hit this icon and create a variation. Now, I'm pretty much sure that our image has now created itself. And you can see here, any image that has a bit of a yellowy background, that's the one indicating what we did. And this has now been created. So let's go and have a look at what it's done. Our website images that we just created. And I have to say, it's not really saying small business consultant to me. So I might need to just remove the word Unreal Engine uh, and try and expand on that a bit more. But you can see what it's done there. We got like, well, it looks like a hero banner, right? And this one here, I have to say, is quite funky. It's done with an angle and it just looks different. I mean, look, I mean, it just looks like a 3D image going on there. And this one, again, is not really a, um, the kind of image I would have for a small business consultant. So what we're going to do is we're just going to undo all of that. And you can see a completely different style now because I've removed the word black. So I just want to show you how your wording can dictate what you get. This just looks like a bit of a mock-up, uh, but it does give you an idea of the way they've done the logo and the images. But look here, this is now looking a little bit more like a small business consultancy. It kind of has that vibe. So if their theme or their branding is magenta or anything like that, this really likes it. Look, you can see the gradient. It starts to give you ideas about the layout. But let's just say I really like this image over here and I want to upscale that particular image because I don't want I don't want these three. I want number two. So remember, it goes in a Z fashion. Image one, two, three, four. So we're going to upscale image two. We hit that. And what it will do is it will make it bigger. Now, if we were not happy with those four images, I could also just click this. And what will happen is it will upscale image two, but it will also create four variations, totally brand new, because I might see something else I like. So here's the version where I create the variations. And you can clearly see here, we now have four different styles. What sometimes I don't massively like, though, is where it's putting it in an actual laptop, like a mock-up generator. I'd rather just see the image as it is. But it does give you some ideas with the layouts that we have over here. Remember, I upscaled uh, image number two. Here it is. And this is the upscaled version. So now, can you see how it's gone from small to big and we can zoom in a little bit more. Now, what if I like that, but I want variations of that particular image? Well, we can do that as well. So in our Discord over here, we can do a light upscale or a beta upscale. Now, all they do is basically upscale the images. Um, the light upscale is basically... Um, it makes it sharper, whereas the beta one is much more sharper. Or you could just download the image. You can download any of these images, by the way. But I'm going to click Make Variation and just see what that generates. Now, while that's generating, I have also put in another prompt down here. Where is it? Here we go. I've said magenta and white for a small business. Now, what I want is just an image. The word hero banner is missing from there, as is website. So when we now click this, what I'm now getting is like another layout, which is just giving me another range of images. And I do like this one down here. My face is covering it. I know just a little bit, but I do like this layout with just the way the color completely overlaps on the person. And while we were doing that, hopefully our variations over here for that lady image has now worked. This could give you inspiration and ideas that you can now take away um, to go work with a designer or mock something up. Now, I know what you're saying, right? You're going to say, but I don't want any words. I don't want it in a mock-up generator or a website. I just want the image. Well, this is where you might want to do something like this. Let's just use the upscale version. Let's just go back over to our Discord. So we're just going to take the original image. I'm going to save this image now to my downloads. I've shoved a copy of that image into Canva. You could use any tool you want to be absolutely honest. Okay, and I'm just going to do something like this and I'm just going to get a trapezium shape and I'm just going to color that trapezium shape to be something like that. I, I'm not overly fussed about how it's currently looking. Okay, it was more about 
getting the look of this image over here. And I'm just hiding over the words. I'm just going to save this. Now what I'm going to do is load through my image. So what I'm going to do is hit the plus sign over here. So remember I mentioned at start you could use images. I'm going to use an image I've got here to try and create something different. You could also use images of existing websites as well. So I'm going to hit upload a file and I'm just going to load through stock one. Now what you got to do after you load it is hit return. What you want to now do is open that image. So you've added it, and then you want to open it. And what you then need to do is basically copy what you have over here. Copy the text like that, okay? And then go back into your Discord. And then you want to type in imagine prompt, paste that URL. Sorry, I should have said paste the URL. And I'm going to say uh, magenta and white, um, uh, magenta and white uh, small uh, businesses. So you can see what the wording is, but you can see it's using the image that we loaded. I'm just going to copy all of that and hit return. Now I've just gone onto the apple.com website because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of over how uh, their current one of their pages looks for the shop. And I'm just going to take it to be something like uh, that for now. Okay, so I'm just going to take a screenshot of this website. It's going to save it to my desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that to um, Discord as well. So we go over here. Uh, you can actually see it's already done my image. So we're going to come back to that in a moment. But I'm going to go and type in uh, the plus sign. And we are going to upload uh, that file. Once that's loaded up, you click it. You get the screenshot like that. Take the screenshot. Go back. Well, the URL, sorry. Take the URL. Go in and type in imagine. You will get used to this the more you do it. Let's type in the URL and then I'm going to type in magenta and white uh, AR32 hyphen hyphen ARV4 and then we'll go with uh, stylize. Now what I haven't done is to put 4K on the one above. So hopefully that doesn't impact on the image too much. You can do 8K and 16K as well if you want. Space 3 colon 2. I missed out my space there. Let's hit return there. That is now going to go away and generate. But now let's just go back up to where I had already used that image, which is over here, magenta and white, small business for consultant. And we used that existing image, the one I redid in Canva. And what we now get is this. That could be used as a hero. I mean, there are words on there. That could be used as a hero banner. That could also be used as a hero banner with my words over here or my words there. Again, with your wording over here, your headline, your subtitle, your call to action button, that could work as well. Um, it, it, I mean, this image as well. I mean, I think like, you know, I mean, these are fake images, by the way, but you might want to put in a real photo and use that to drive what you get. Right. So let's go back over to Discord to where we use that Apple image as inspiration. And I've now said do it for selling business stationery. Whoops, wrong one. Let's click over there. Look at what we're getting. I mean, that is, if if I say so myself, pretty damn nice. I mean, you could argue, has it really taken inspiration? And it, in some way, it's taken the logo and used an Apple product. But then again, it has created stationery. Now, just look at the styles you're getting here. This now, for me, is a wonderful one. Just look at that. Forget this, forget what you have here, because that's just wallpaper now. But just look at the style you got here. If you were now trying to put across, well, here's our product. You could have like, you know, you could have your shop on the left hand side. And over here you have images of the right. We're very much used to just sticking in one image, aren't we? With a bit of background or someone stood there. What if you now break it up to actually be product images like that? How cool does that look? And even here where you're now using different like containers almost to house. Look, image, headline text, sub subtext, call to action button is right there. Look at how cool that is. And you could, if you want, okay, let's say I quite like number one or even number three over here. Remember, when you're in Discord, you would, and I've got to make sure I open Discord, you would go over and upscale. Remember, one, two, three, four. What you can do with mid-journey in terms of stylizing and thinking about what you want to create is super amazing. And I've already gone and created a couple of fake websites. I mean, I'll show you here. So this one here, I said I wanted fantasy images and they all had to be like orange and black. Look at the images you get here. And then I did another one that's like literally like a logo. I and mean, then I made sure I had a big white area here and, you know, text. The same with everything you see on here. All of the images, the background, the weapons, 
everything on here has come from Midjourney. The only difference is the text that I just went and created off the top of my head or Laura Mipsum. Hope that helps you out. Now, some of the prompts that I have used or one or two of them, I will put in the video description so you can go away and click away. Um, look, Mid Journey is free to use right now up until 25 goes. And we must have done about seven or eight or nine at the moment. So you could easily use up the 25. But if you pay $10 a month or eight pounds or however it works on the currency, you can get up to 200 a month. 200 a month, that is super, super powerful. And yes, you've got to wait one or two minutes for it to load, but look at what we just did. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And of course, I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.